And I think we're live. Hi there. Um, my name's Anthony Kelly and welcome to my language learning live stream where I'm trying to figure out if I can get good at Japanese just using apps and of course with some friendly friends right down here in the comments. It is good to see you today. By the way, it is Midday Monday here in Hong Kong on the 29th of March 2021 and we are being recorded live on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly Yip. We're also the videos will also be available later on youtube.com, but we don't actually have a good address over there. It's youtube.com slash a random bunch of letters and numbers. Um, but I am hoping I am hoping to get a better address on YouTube. In order to get a better address, we are going to need a hundred subscribers. And you can see from this, we've got 78 right now. So we are super, super close to getting a nice address on YouTube. If you would like to help me to get to 100 subscribers and you're watching on Twitch right now, head on over to YouTube and um, hit that subscribe button. As soon as we get to 100, hopefully I'll be able to say that we're at youtube.com slash Anthony Kelly Yip 2. If you're watching on YouTube, um, thanks for joining me. We do stream every Monday uh, here in Hong Kong on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly Yip. And uh, that will be Sunday evenings if you are in the Americas because of, you know, time differences and all that. So anyway, if you want any of those links to my YouTube, to my Twitch, to my Instagram, to my Twitter, they can all be found on anthonykelly.live right down there. I've put that in the comments and it will be in the description as well. How's everybody doing? Um, it is good to see you today. Uh, what's going on? I am drinking <laughs> Uji Kyoto Matcha Ramune. We have Ramune today. And uh, I am quickly, very, very quickly running out of Ramune flavors <laughs> to buy. If this is your first time watching, we have been doing Ramune rankings over the past few weeks where I've been trying a whole bunch of different Ramune flavors. Right now, so far, the winner is the Hatta uh, uh, Ichigo strawberry flavor Ramune. That's the winner right now um, because that's actually nice. And I am not a big fan of Ramune. Um, we used to buy the original Ramune. Like, um, basically, whenever we went to some Japanese restaurants, we would always buy some Ramune. Basically, because it's got that little ball in the top. You can see that, I think, right there. You see there's a little ball? And that is the main reason why we would buy it. Because, you know, it was cute. Did it taste good? Um, it was fine, I guess. Um, but it turns out there's a whole bunch of different Ramune flavors in the world. We have tried strawberry, peach, blueberry, apple, pineapple, watermelon, a worse flavor of peach. I, I think that that peach should be higher than that watermelon. Mm, yeah, I'm putting that a little bit higher than watermelon. Uh, lemon. And the worst ramen flavor I have tried so far is Hata orange. So, interestingly, Hata have got both the best and the worst ramen, in my opinion. Your opinions might be different, you know. Um, but I'm about to try this matcha ramune. And I'm a little bit scared because matcha, um, green tea, is one of those flavors that can be really nice or really not nice, um, depending on who's making it and how they're making it. And like, there's some nice matcha ice cream, for example. There's some bad matcha ice cream as well. So I'm going to try this one and see where this is going to fall in the uh, Ramune rankings. It smells like matcha. It does. It smells good. I don't know. Are those flavors that actually go together? Because I think of matcha as being something that mixes well with like milky flavors, and this is not milky at all. Okay, I guess. Maybe. That is not terrible. Which is interesting because I thought it would be. Okay. 
at least, at, at the very least, I know that this is better than that peach flavor that we tried last week. Okay, good start, Matcha Ramane. I am surprised and impressed. Anyway, welcome to my language learning live stream where we are trying to figure out if we can actually do this. Can we get good at Japanese using apps? Um, so far, the experience has been good. I mean, I don't know whether I could have a conversation with somebody in Japanese, but we have been learning quite a lot. Um, and I'm just Normally what I will do it around this time is I will do some show and tell to show kind of like Japanese that I've learned through the week, um, different Japanese things that I've seen while I've been studying. But this time I've got a little bit less for show and tell, but we are going to try a different app, okay? Um, the first thing that I learned this week is that this word, you, you, you can see this word here, looks very much like ta. And I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to mix those up. I haven't got them mixed up so far. But look at that. The only difference there <laughs> is that that line is a little bit short or a little bit long. It seems that is the only difference between these two characters. So I'm going to have to be careful, right? If I am writing in Japanese or reading handwritten Japanese, that could be possible to mix up. I mean, sure, there's, there's plenty of characters in English as well. There's plenty of letters that you can easily mix up. That's okay, guys. That is okay. Um, but this is just something that I took a screenshot on because I want to keep my eyes open for it. Okay. That's the first thing that I'm being careful of right now. What else? This isn't a being careful of. Um... This is something that I thought was quite cute. So last week, we started studying Japanese with an app called Kawaii Nihongo. Kawaii Nihongo. And I initially kind of dismissed the app as being um, just, I don't know. I, I guess I thought that it was, oh, yo, somebody's in the chat. Gavin, how are you doing? It's nice to see you today. Thank you for dropping by. I'm really happy to see you, and it's good to have you in the live stream as well. Um, I've seen Gavin on other streams before, and I'm happy to have him here too. Um, hey, Gavin, how's everything going with you? I'm just looking at like things that I've been studying over the past week. And um, last week when we were studying on stream, uh, we were using a new app called Kawaii Nihongo. And yeah, I was just saying that I initially kind of like dismissed this app as being just like Duolingo, but cute. Um, turns out it is deeper than that. So um, one of our friends was in the chat called Tanenobu. Uh, Tanenobu-san. Uh, he is a streamer in Japan who live streams learning, learning English online and learning other things as well. And uh, I really enjoy just like being in his streams and like listening to him and watching his study method. And I feel like I'm learning a lot from him. And while I was looking at Kawaii Nihongo last week, um, he noticed, and like uh, I, I noticed it as well with one of the pictures, um, that the pictures are actually related to the character that they're trying to teach. So this one, you see this messy looking girl, and the word that they're giving you is ki, ki. And this is kitanai like dirty or messy. I think it's messy. Kitanai. Ki. And I've just been trying to like keep my eyes open uh, while studying in Kawaii Nihongo to see what's the relationship between the picture and the character they're teaching. And I just appreciate it. Like the app is not really my style. Um, I've got Duolingo. I'm happy with studying in Duolingo. But Still, I think this is really nice that they've like put that extra effort into the app. Um, and it's not just learning Japanese with cute pictures. They, they've thought about this. So yeah, ki is kitanai no ki. Uh, Gavin says, I think the same way. Uh, that's about Tananobu-san, right? And look at this one. Gavin, do you know why this one is ko? Have a look at the picture. Ko. 
Um, this was I, I felt quite happy because I saw it and I kind of figured it out. I'm saying I figured it out. I don't know. Maybe Tab Tananobu told me. I'm going to pretend that I figured it out myself. Um, this one is ko, uh, and it is kotomo no ko, child, right? Isn't it brilliant? Kotomo. I just think that's so cute, and I love how the app does that. So if you're interested, this app is called Kawaii Nihongo. It is written as one word. The Kawaii is, uh, you can see it down here somewhere. You can see it at the bottom of the screen. I don't know whether that's... I don't even think that's readable. Kawaii Nihongo, written as one word. And it's good. Like, I I like what they've done here. So, yeah, if you are interested in learning Japanese, one more thing. Kawaii Nihongo actually teaches you writing. And this is super, super important. Because, like, if you study, um, if you study Japanese using Duolingo, the only time that they actually let you write, like handwrite something, is if you are learning the katakana and hiragana um, on the second tab of Duolingo, at least on Android. Um, and they only let you write it once. And that kind of sucks. It kind of sucks that they only let you write it once. If you use kawaii nihongo, um, some of the questions are, do you know how to write this? Okay, and you actually have to like handwrite the Japanese word, and it doesn't actually um, mark your writing. There's like an honor system where you mark it yourself. Okay, you actually mark it yourself. But what you do is you write what you think the character should be, and then you can like flip between the correct character and your version of the character, and you can see like how close were you to the actual. Japanese character. And it's great. Like, it's really, really good. So, if you're interested in learning how to actually handwrite um, katakana and hiragana characters in Japanese, try Kawaii Nihongo. It might be like the, the best app that I've found so far for teaching you to write uh, Japanese characters. So, anyway, I found that this week. What else did I find this week? Okay, we can actually see the English at the top there. There's there's no guesswork uh, for this week's uh, katakana challenge. But it is quite nice to see that the word avocado in Japanese could just be avocado. avocado. And cream cheese could actually just be cream cheese. Cream cheese. Um, writing does take so much time, Gavin. Um, on my phone and on my tablet, I have the Google keyboard. And the Google keyboard uses swiping to type. Oh, Google thinks that I'm talking to them. Um, where it has uh, like a and ka and sa, like all of the A sounds. And then if you want the i, e, u, and o, a, i, u, e, o, you either swipe to the side or swipe up or swipe down. And like I use that all the time. And it's really good. Um, the Google keyboard is quite fast to type with. It has some predictions as well. So you write how a word sounds, and it will give you some options for whether you want it to be written in hiragana or katakana or kanji. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Google keyboard in Japanese with swiping um, is really nice for me. I haven't been using the IME. Uh, it says you just use the IME. Um, you don't want to learn to write kanji. Um, yeah, so like if you type on the phone, you type in hiragana, basically. You type everything in hiragana. And then at the top, it will give you a prediction for, oh, do you want to change this to katakana? Do you want to change this to kanji? At the very least, Gavin, we need to be able to recognize kanji. Um, and being able to write it might help you to kind of like reinforce your memory of the words. But as far as I can tell, like, it's not just us. Like, a lot of Japanese people might not know uh, exactly how to write all the kanji, right? There's a lot. There's a lot of kanji characters. But you have to know some. Now, my question is, are you ever, in your life, are you ever going to actually be handwriting Japanese? 
That's the question. And looking at it, I kind of think like, I don't know. I'm far more likely to be typing it on a phone than I even am typing it on a keyboard. Um, and I'm far more likely to be typing on a keyboard than I am actually handwriting. So if I'm going to get good at something, I guess I'm going to get good at the, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to get good at typing on the phone because that's where I'm going to use it the most. So that's what I've been doing so far. Now, I still think we've got to learn some kanji, right? If we're going to do these JLPT exams, our Japanese language proficiency, proficiency exams, uh, we're going to have to know some kanji, even if we can't write it. Hold on a second. If you are ever required to do so, you quit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I will never handwrite Japanese. You say that. But imagine if you get good. Maybe you'll handwrite it then, just to show off. Just to show off. Um, I'll tell you when I do handwrite kanji, okay? This is a real example of when I will handwrite kanji. And I'm using handwrite in like the loosest sense of the term here. I will handwrite kanji if, what's going on down there? Oh, sorry. I thought there was something weird going on in the chat, but it was just Pichu blocking your, <laughs> blocking your message. Get out the way, Pichu. Okay. I will handwrite kanji if there's like a word here that I don't know how to say. Right here, you see there's like, we've got cheese, and I don't know how to say this word here. So what I would do is I might jump into Google Translate, right? And let's jump into Google Translate just for a second here. And one thing that you might end up doing is using handwriting in Google Translate to find a word just like that word that we found then, right? Google's talking over there. Um, you might find yourself using Google Translate, like if there's a kanji somewhere that you don't know how to read, you might handwrite it into Google Translate, like I did. And how do you say that word? Oh, we're not coming through the speakers. Hold on a second, Gavin. I'm just going to jump out for a second and connect the audio up. Hopefully this will work. I have either broken my USB port or broken my USB plug here and the tablet is not connecting very well to the computer. So we could lose this at any time. But let's just see if this is working. Here we go. Hopefully this will work. And where are you? Okay, I can hear that. Can you? I hope you can hear that. If you can't hear that through the um, uh, over the recording, please tell me. I think it should be coming through. I'll try it one more time. Did that come through? Uh, I, I I hope it did. I hope it did. Okay. So yeah, like there is a real chance that you could actually end up having to write Japanese at some point. Oh, good. Thank you, Gavin. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, avocado and cream cheese. What else have we got? Oh, okay. Uh, I was out shopping and I noticed this t-shirt here. And you can see what it says on the t-shirt, can't you? Um, it says here, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa on this t-shirt. And the reason that I took a photo of this was just because it reminded me of people with like tattoos in foreign languages or like people wearing t-shirts with foreign languages and you don't know whether it actually says what you think it says or you might buy something just because the design is cool and you don't know whether it actually says uh, anything rude or not. This one does not say anything rude. Our little doggo friend over here is saying konnichiwa. Now, I'm not sure whether you should get yourself a konnichiwa tattoo uh, because if you did, you could only show it to people in the afternoon. Or you'd have to have like an ohayou gozaimasu, konnichiwa, and a konbanwa tattoo. You know, show different ones at different times. But yeah, this is a t-shirt that I believe we are only allowed to wear in the afternoon. What else did I see this week? Pokemon. Um, 
this wasn't anything really uh, interesting, um, except for the fact that I was thinking, like, if there's anybody watching who is a complete beginner at Japanese, um, I have heard from people. Hold on a second. Uh, Gavin says, I've seen videos of this Japanese guy making fun of stupid Jap uh, stupid tattoos. I know. Like, I think it's maybe not so much now. Um, yeah, ohai gozaimasu for in the morning. Uh, konnichiwa, afternoon, right? Uh, and konbanwa for the evening. Mm. But anyway, this is good. This is okay. Um, I think it's not so popular now. But at least a few years back, like, it was quite popular in the UK when I was younger to wear T-shirts with Chinese characters on them. Uh, I don't think I ever did, um, but that was a thing. Um, and some people would get, like, Chinese tattoos. And I don't know. It's just like, if you can't read something, maybe don't wear it. Um, I live in Hong Kong, and sometimes we will see people like wearing T-shirts with uh, English language phrases and things on them. And I look at it, and I'm like, like, do they know what it says? Um, Gavin says, do you have a Discord? Hell yeah. Um, hold on a sec. Let me see if this is going to load this up. You would like to send me something hilarious. There's the Discord, Gavin. Jump into there, join. Pick a role as well. And uh, you can join our super secret Discord server at antonykelly.live. Uh, Discord.gg slash that link at the bottom. I hope you can click on it. Mm. Gavin is sending me something on Discord. Uh, hopefully, it will just pop up when it comes through. If I don't get a pop up, then uh, you can tell me when it comes up, okay? Uh, but yeah, Gavin is about to send me something. While Gavin is sending me something, if you are learning Japanese for the first time, and if you are struggling to learn katakana as I did, I have heard that a very good way to learn katakana is to learn Pokemon names, because most of them are in katakana. So if we have a look here, this little guy's name in katakana, Pikachu. Pikachu. This guy is Pariato. Pariato. I don't know why, like a barrier, barrier dot. Um, Gavin, if the uh, if your Discord thing has popped up, then uh, please tell me. What else have we got here? We have got Kotaku, Kotaku, Kotaku. We have Sunansu. Oh, Sonansu. Sorry, not Sunansu. Sonansu. Uh, Gavin, you're in the Discord server. Okay. Um, hopefully. It will pop up with uh, with your link in a second. And the last one we have is Togepi, Togepi, the egg. So yeah, like if you wanted to learn Katakana from Pokemon characters, that, that's quite good. That is quite good. Let's see if uh, Gavin has shared anything with us over on the Discords. Where are you, Discord? Okay, where are we? I can't see it yet, Gab. General chat, are we down there? Nope. Okay, okay, it's here somewhere. Down in memes. Hey, Gavin. I tried to translate a bag of Chinese rice crackers using Google Translate, and these are some of the ingredients it gave me. Now, I don't know whether this is going to come up with anything not safe for word, for work, sorry. Green meat, horse, young wife, little wife, small eggs, pig, small table, alcohol, toxic acid. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Um, okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, Google Translate. <laughs> Be careful. And like... Let's say you are living in, I don't know, England or Portugal or the US or anywhere else in the world, getting your tattoo by a tattoo artist and like you found a friend who like can properly translate a word for you. They say it sounds good. You think it sounds good. It's what you want. You go to your tattoo artist, okay, and then... <laughs> The tattoo artist might not be able to read Chinese or Japanese. So they could miss something or get something wrong. They could put it upside down. 
right? They could put your text back to front, upside down, inside out, and they might have no idea what they have done. So to absolutely be on the safe side, do not get a tattoo that you can't read. Um, I'm too scared to get a tattoo anyway, um, because I'm scared that like whatever tattoo I get, like even if I think it looks cool now, it will probably look ridiculous, like within a very short period of time. So I'm I'm a little bit now. No disrespect to people who get tattoos. Some people have got amazing tattoos. I'm kind of not gonna get one. I'm not. Sorry, I'm not gonna get one. Like. I can't even get like Anthony Kelly dot live because who knows a year from now I might not pay for that website ever again. Remember to head on over to Anthony Kelly dot live. Okay, let us return to what we were looking at before. Oh, I saw some. There's a lot here. There's a lot of uh, uh, katakana characters that you can learn from uh, learn on this page, but I just wanted to learn this one. Biku. Size Biku size You can learn that one. There you go, guys. If you're gonna learn one phrase here, it's bigu size. Right? Which rice bowl do you want to get? The big size. Which t shirt do I need to buy? The big size. Bigu size. What else have we got? Liam Dum Cresco Spiro Liam has been doing really well on Duolingo, and he has completed a 250-day streak. It's amazing. Um, you can follow Liam over at Dum Cresco. I, I think I've got his, uh, where are you? I've got a link to his page somewhere. I have, it's right here. Give me a second. I'll just throw that into the chat. Uh, if you would like to watch somebody who takes learning Japanese far more seriously than me, making silly jokes about big sizes. Go follow Liam. Uh, Liam is an English streamer who has been learning Japanese with Duolingo and other things. And he takes notes. Like, that's already better than what I do, right? He takes notes. So anyway, you can go and watch Liam. He has been studying harder and longer than me. Bigger size. Let's keep going. Okay, um, I follow a Twitch person and an IG person um, called uh, Rara. Rara? Lara. Oh, you followed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow him. Tananobu-san. Hi, how are you doing? It's nice to see you today. I'm glad that you're with me, by the way. Um, today, we are trying matcha ramune, and I'm surprised. Like, this is quite nice way better than the uh, peach one from last week. Uh, Planning Obusan is here. Hold on a second. <clears throat> the whole gang's here now. Yeah, if the whole gang consists of three of us. <laughs> yes, the whole gang is here. No, um, I follow uh, Rala on, um, on Twitter and on Instagram. And she does a lot of like Pokemon drawing. Um, and she's Japanese as well. And I was really happy when I saw this tweet the other day. Let me just show you. I I understand a large amount of her tweet. Now, let me just show you what I've got. Ski means like. Now, the fourth character there, the kanji, I know that's talking about clothes. I don't know how to say that in Japanese yet, right? But I do know that it's talking about clothes. So, suki and clothes. Kawaii. Cafe, a kawaii cafe ni de. And then, amai, uh, amai mono o taperu koto ga. I don't know those kanji, but it sounds like, looks like lucky. Uh, no toki desu. Okay. I was really happy because I felt like I had almost read a full sentence in Japanese. I'm looking at this and I'm like, Okay, clothes that I like, a cute cafe, sweet food, and something about maybe luck, because the Chinese character there means luck. Uh, I'm not sure if it means the same in Japanese, but they're often similar. And I was like, I think I understand that 
that sentence enough, unless there's like a magic negative hiding in there or something. Oh, uh, Tanobu-san says that that word is shifuku. Oh, shifuku. Uh, oh, huku. Huku is, is luck, right? Uh, uh, huku bukuro. Oh, okay. So like happy? Reach happy? Okay. I hit the translate button on Twitch and I got I think I screenshotted it. I got this. <clears throat> it is a blissful time to go to a cute cafe and eat sweets in your favorite outfit. Now, I don't know how like accurate that is, but that's really close to what I thought it was. Like, I'm close to being able to read Japanese in the wild. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. But that was like a super happy moment for me. Uh, maybe I could talk about reaching happiness. Um, maybe. Yeah. Shihuku. Shihuku. That's how I feel. I feel like I have reached happiness because I can almost read an unfamiliar Japanese sentence in the wild. We're getting there, guys. Okay. This looks like some easy Japanese here. We've got the English across the top. We've got the Japanese at the bottom. And it all makes sense, right? Let's have a look here. In English, we have choco. In Japanese, we have choco. In English, we have banana. In Japanese, we have banana. In English, we have mini pie. And in Japanese, we have mini pie. Right? Right? Oh, wait, I didn't take a photo of it. Oh, I, I was about to do like a dramatic thing where I swipe to the side and show you what it is. Give me just a second. Give me just a second while I find the picture. Um, I'm just going to jump out. Where's my choco pie? Where's my banana pie? I'm just going to go and find it for you. Because I was surprised by this pie. Guys. What's that? What's that? Really? That's not a pie. That's a biscuit. That is absolutely not a pie. That is not what I was expecting either. Gavin says banana in Korean. Hey, you can see that I can read Korean, or at least I can read the word banana. It's a wafer. It's not a banana. It's not a pie. I'm sorry. Like, okay, so I am not like in the banana waffle banana wafer, banana pie business. So, like, if I don't know how to how to say wafer in Japanese, <laughs> yes, I did. I also reached that luckiness. Um, I think it's okay that I don't know the difference between, like, I don't know how to say wafer in Japanese. But if you are in the choco banana wafer business, get it right. That's not a pie. Not a pie. I was incredibly disappointed. Okay, let me jump back in over here. Okay, where were we? Okay. Can we learn some Japanese here? Um, there's nothing to learn here. Okay, there is nothing to learn here, except that this toy is amazing. I was at my friend's home this morning, and they had this toy called a, called a Rizmo. Okay, uh, Rizumo. And it starts off being like a tribble, right? It's this small, furry, almost a ball, but a little bit flatter and a little bit hard and furry. Um, but if you play with it, it will evolve <laughs> into a little monster. And I thought this was amazing that you've got this, this toy here that magically grows from being like a little ugly ball into a little ugly monster. I wish I'd had this when I was younger. Like, there's nothing to learn here, right? I mean, we can see here, anata no, we've learned that, we learned that last week, anata da 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 da, anata no owen de shinka. Evolve. Uh, oh, 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 here's something that I want to learn, tane nobu -san. What is a mini to? Now we've learned the mini to, right? Uh, we've learned the mini ya or the mini some other like mini characters. 
I don't know what happens with the mini to in a word. Here it says uta to. Is that like tri? I don't know. I I don't know about that mini to. How to pronounce that or or when to use it. That that's completely new to me. But yeah, this is amazing, and I kind of wish that I was like six years old again, um, so that I could have this little evolving monster. Look at that. Look at that. It's just like a scary ball with glowing eyes. That is going to become that. I want one. Tane no san. Mina no tane. Tane no bu no tane. I saw these candy this morning and I thought of you. I don't know what these are. Um, now, tane. Does anyone know what tane is? It's just a font design to make. Oh, is that all it is? Okay, Tane Nobusan said that that to is um, just the font. It's just making it look look easier to read. Okay, that makes sense. So kind of like how here we have like large characters and small characters. Okay, what is Tane? Tane, Tane Nobu no Tane. Mina no Tane Nobu. I don't know. I don't know. Gavin says, I made my stream avatar my favorite Pokemon. Your favorite non-legendary. Let's have a look. Who are you now? Hey, Gavin. I like it. I like it. I think I've got a shiny. It's Absol, right? Um, what is Tane? Tane no bu no. Tane. Let's have a look. And we find out what Tane no bu really is. Tane. Tanena is seed. Tanemaki. Tane, taneru. Tane. I'm getting seed here. And I think Tanenobu, the first character in kanji, is a seed, right? Is it the same word? So if this is Mina no Tane, everybody's seeds? Is that what I'm looking at here? Okay. Mina no Tane. <laughs> yes, I am. Starting now, your name is uh, Mina no Tane. So here we have Ramune no Tane. Ramune no Tane. We have Kora no Tane. The seed of Kola? Eh, maybe? Seed of Ramune. Remon no Tane. Seed of Lemon. Spit that out, right? And then we have ume no ume. Ume? Ume wa nan desu ka? Ume? Ume no tane. Ume wa nan desu ka? Ume, 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 ume. Let me just have a look. U, was it me? Ume. And we'll change that to katakana. Ume. Hold on a second, someone is trying to just just you can just lift it up and take whatever you want. I just don't let everything fall down. My boy just went to take some clothes. And he has disconnected my USB. We've lost our feed. He didn't put it back nicely at all. And my USB is going crazy right now. Uh, that might be the end of our stream. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> Let's see if this works. My USB is gone. Can we reconnect? Can we reconnect? <laughs> Let's try this again. Are we reconnected? Are we back on? OK. We are reconnected. Let's reconnect the sound as well. <laughs> uh, can we get the sound back? Can we get the sound back? The sound isn't working. Oh, OK. That's going to pop up on the screen. The sound should be reconnected. Sorry for that short interruption. It's all fine. OK. Hold on a second. Tanenobu said, like the seed of the word, you have jump. Ume is a Japanese apricot that tastes super, super sour. 
I want to try that. Oh, Gavin, are you trying to catch the little star? Um, I hope that there is no delay on the stream because it might be difficult for you to catch the star. You might need to kind of like predict ahead. So ume is a an apricot. Okay, ume no tane nobu. <laughs> you are not ume no tane nobu. You are not mina no tane nobu. You are watashi tachi no tane nobu san. There you go. That's all we have there, and that is all we have for our show and tell this week. But before we do anything else, and before we jump into Duolingo, I did want to show you, and maybe Gavin will be interested in this, in Kawaii Nihongo, that app that we were talking about. And I was just saying how like it will teach you how to write the characters. I found something in there. Many Japanese people love to put ume into onigiri. Oh no, it's gone again. I think this has all been destroyed. Why does it keep disconnecting? As soon as boy walked back in, it disconnected again and he didn't even touch it. Let's see if we can get this going again. Okay, we can do this. We're already doing okay. The last time I had a disconnection, like my entire USB hub just crashed. Um, so, Hopefully, this will work a little bit better this time. And that we won't get too many crashes. Okay. Source copy. Okay. I think you can see that. Maybe. No, you can't. It's not coming up. No. Come back. End of stream, guys. What's going on? Come back, please. I can see it on my screen, but it's not coming up here. Why is that not appearing for you? Give me just a second. I'm going to try to fix this. It is USB difficulties. Um, what's going on right now is that the, the, the USB is just playing up. So I'm going to try to get this working again by disconnecting and reconnecting. Um, but yeah, it is definitely USB difficulties. Okay, we're plugged in. The computer can see it. We're gonna try to get a source. It's not even coming up. USB difficulties. Well, this isn't good. I can see it on my end. But unfortunately, it's not showing up on the screen. And you can actually see that my, my whole layout here is just my be right back, but with screens in front of it. I'm just going to keep fiddling with it and see whether I can get it back. Hold on a second, guys. You keep talking in the chat. <laughs> Why? Why is it not working? I don't want to exit Streamlabs because that's not great. Um, give me just a second while I try to fiddle with this and get it working again. I'm so sorry. I was hoping that I could share this with you. We're disconnected again. I don't know. Just when we knocked the USB, um, it died. I'm still streaming. I'm streaming without <laughs> without the uh without the gameplay. Why is this not working? Again, I can see you on my screen. It's just not coming up on yours. Is there a way to refresh this? Does anyone know what to do? If I make this disappear and reappear, will it come back? Thank you, Curry. Curry, you're raiding at the wrong time. You've just brought 14 people into our technical difficulties. We are struggling right now because my USB has disconnected and it won't reconnect. And I don't know why. Thank you for bringing so many people into the middle of our technical difficulties right here. No. 
Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome everybody. I mean, slash me, Gavin, slash me. How can I refresh this? Does anybody know? Okay, so I have lost output from my tablet and I'm struggling to reconnect it right now. Um, thank you so much, everybody joining at the wrong time. I do appreciate it. Um, and boy, after after destroying our live stream, is now asking me for pocket money as well. <laughs> this is one of those be right back moments, isn't it? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Okay, hold on a second. Give me a second. Does anybody know? Man down, man down. Um, so I've got my USB. I, I've got my output on the computer right now. Okay, I can see it in front of me, but Streamlabs just isn't looking at it, and I don't know what I can do. I don't know how to bring it back. <laughs> Help me, please. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try copying and pasting. How can I fix this? Somebody help me, please. I may need to re-add it. Goodness me. Okay, I'm going to remove tablet portrait capture and I'm going to try to re-add it. Thank you, Curry. Good idea. Um, let's see if we can get whether we can do this or not. Tablet portrait capture is gone. And then we're going to do display capture, video capture device. Display capture, game capture. Okay, game capture. We're going to try to get it. Add a new source. Game capture. We're going to source it from... Oh, I think I've got it. Thank you, Curry. Hold on a second. Let's see whether this works or not. Okay. And then... Wow, it's square. <laughs> and it won't change to a different shape. Oh, no. This is not working well at all, is it? Okay, let's try another one. Capture a specific window. Okay, can we get this? Can we get it? R.I.P. Anthony's live stream. Am I right? What's going on? Okay, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to... I'm so happy that all you guys are my friends and that there's nobody here as far as I know. Okay, RIP. Let's try this again. I think we've got this now. I'm gonna load up source copy, connect to the tablet, go back into Streamlabs. We are gonna add a new source. That source is, is it video capture device? Game capture. Add source. We're going to make a new source, call it Game Capture. We're going to search for a specific window. Oh, I see it. I see it right over there. We're going to pop this over here, pull it up. Hey, hey, we're back in the game, guys. And we're back to Kawaii Nihongo. Ah, thank you, Curry, for your help. Twins, no, you are not my, you are not my friend, twins. Your family, and yes, I will feed you. Let me just jump back into the chat and see what's going on over here. Okay, Pink Ranger says, Nightbot got Blackthorn, save him. No, Blackthorn's out. Uh, Curry says, I may need to re-add it. Thank you so much. What did I do? Uh, I destroyed my video game capture. Techno Orange says he wants Dragonite. Curry says RAP. Is Blackthorn still timed out? I'm sure they'll be back soon. Guitar God is here. Hey, Guitar God, how are you doing? We have twins. Please feed me. Sorry, I'm busy. And Curry is off to bed. Oyasuma nasai. Thank you so much for coming, guys. We're trying to learn Japanese. Um, let me just... Well, I'm going to try to not break anything now. And I'm going to try to get sound coming through. Okay. 
We're going to get sound. We're going to get sound. Welcome back to Kawaii New Hong Kong. Um, welcome to my language learning live stream where I'm trying to figure out if I can get good at Japanese just using apps. We were previously using a game called Kawaii New Hong Kong to learn Japanese where they will teach you like all the characters and things like that. There's a school in here. There's um, a bookstore which has these really like intrusive questions that you have to answer before it will let you read any books. So I haven't done that. It's like, how old are you? What's your income? How many children do you have? Good night, Kuri. But there's an arcade in here where they have Japanese language learning games. Some of them are like memory games. Um, we have to like remember the characters, which is kind of cool. Okay, just gonna jump out of that. But there was a new game in here that I wanted to show uh, Gavin and anybody else who's watching. And it's called Kawaii Dungeon. Kawaii Dungeon. Are you ready? Uh, Blackthorn, are you back? Is Blackthorn back yet or are you still timed out? Oh, the background music's a little bit loud. Hold on, I'll try and pull that down. Is that down now? If that's down, then please tell me. Um, yeah, it is a little bit loud, isn't it? Okay, how's the audio now? Does it sound better? So this is a game called Kawaii Dungeon. It's, it's not down. Okay, let me try. How about that? Is that quieter now? It should be a little bit quieter. Okay, is that is that about right? Okay. So, thank you, sorry about that. Okay, this is a game called Kawaii Dungeon. And I've had a quick look at this. You have to battle people by knowing Japanese, okay? So here, here he comes. You, know, you need to help me to fight this guy off. I know you can. We have our Japanese character, Ah. How do we play this? Okay, do it. First, look at the review below to get an idea of the new content that you will learn in this level. And when you are ready, tap the icon in the bottom right corner to continue. Okay, now we've got... So we have A, E. Which Romaji is correct? So to damage your opponent, you have to know the right character in Japanese. Uh, which one is A? This A. one. And we're killing him. You can kill people by knowing Japanese. Okay, so we deal damage to our opponent until they die a horrible death. Which Romaji is correct? E. Get him, Rico. U. U. E. E. Okay, which one is U? This one. U. Kill him. Kill him with fire. E. E. Now, I don't know if it's a more powerful attack if you can o. do it faster. But yeah, this is quite a, oh. a cool way of making sure that you know all of your Japanese characters. Um, like the level for me, because, yeah, we've got to beat that hoodlum. Am I right? You did it. That was great for your first time. Rico is proud of us. And she hopes that she will continue. And I, I don't know if that's the whole game. Is the whole game just like attacking people? Um... But yeah, if you are looking to learn Japanese characters for the first time, this could be okay, right? This could be quite a fun little game um, for practicing your Japanese characters. So yeah, like for me, I already know my A, I, U, and O, so I probably won't be playing this game very much, but I thought that I would show you. It's quite cool. Anyway, that's for you. Uh, if any of you would like to learn the Japanese alphabet, you can try Kawaii Dungeon from the same people who brought us Kawaii Nihongo. Okay, 
Thank you for coming. Uh, in this game, you kill your opponent by knowing Japanese. In real life, you can kill me by timing me out for 600 seconds. <laughs> Blackthorn is free. Thank you so much for freeing Blackthorn, Nightbot. Anyway, shall we keep going? We have been learning Japanese with Duolingo, and I want to try something new. Uh, last week, we were doing families and restaurants. Here we have a new topic called Activity 1. Shall we have a look at it? Okay, then. We have some tips. The past is in the past. Oh, no. We've got past tense. <sighs> Here we go. Why were you timed out anyway, Blackthorn? Um, you tried telling Curry goodnight. You tried tell accepting Pink's jewel. Uh, jewel. Why were you timed out? Did you share a link or anything? I'm really sorry, Blackthorn. Okay, in English, when you talk about the past, you often add ed. I walk, I walked. In Japanese, you change mas to mashita. 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 Can you hear that clearly, guys? Or is that a little bit quiet? Mashita. If that's a bit mashita. quiet, I'll turn, I think I should turn that up. Mashita. How about that? Is that okay? Gavin got timed out. What's going on? Mashita. Nightbots, leave people alone. I've, I've already told Nightbot to stop just like timing people out. Um, hold on. Let me go and say hello to Nightbot for a second. Like we already started with technical difficulties. We might as well continue. Okay, let's go say hello to Nightbot. Nightbot. Authorize. What are you doing? Can I turn off like spam protection and things? Nightbot says that my top chatter is Pink Ranger. Um, let me just have a look here. Spam protection. See, spam protection is, oh, spam protection is enabled for repetitions and links. Okay, then. I have told Nightbot to shut up. Guys, spam away. Okay, then. So, according to this, we just changed mas to mashita. Benkyo shimas. Uh, I study. Benkyo shimashita. I study. Benkyo shimas. Benkyo shimashita. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Uh, Katagod says the voice volume sounds good. Thank goodness. Yeah, Nightbot has been a bit of a bully recently. Um, for something that you didn't do in the past, you change masen to masen deshita. Masen deshita. Masen deshita. Okay. Benkyo shimasen. Benkyo shimasen. Shimasen. Benkyo shimasen deshita. Okay. We'll try and learn that. Uh, kino wa shikoto deshita. Kino wa shimoto deshita. Okay. So, yesterday was work. We're not going to bother reading all of this, are we? We can read this later on. Let's just jump in the deep end. Pink Ranger, yes, you are the best. No timeouts now, guys. Spam away. Uh, Gavin says, how long do I check how, how do I check how long I've been following? I think you just use followage, right? Um, but does followage tell you the time or since when? Followage is doing nothing. <laughs> um, why is followage doing nothing? Okay, followage is doing nothing. Pizza is doing nothing. Nothing is doing nothing. I thought I had a followage here. I'll try and fix this later. What does this say? Hataraki. Hataraki. I don't know what that means, but I do know it is Hataraki in Hiragana. What have we got here? We've got keiki. We know keiki, that's just cake. One of the easy ones. We have karai, spicy. We have en, en. and we have, oh, how do you say that? How do you say time in Japanese? Followage isn't working. YouTube's working. So I think Streamlabs is tired. <laughs> let's jump back into Streamlabs. I've already given up having a Japanese stream today. Uh, let's check out Cloudbot. Followage. I set this up. I'm, I know I set this up. 
log in. Come on, Cloudbot, you can do this. Cloudbot, commands. Follow it should be here. Follow it should give you target name has been following this channel for target follow it. And everybody should be able to run this command. Everyone should be able to do it. And I don't know why they can't. Does anything else work? Hold on, Discord works, Twitter works. Does Lurk work? Lurk works. Guys, if you want to find out how long you've been watching, Lurk will tell you. <laughs> um, twins, you've been following Anthony Kelly for two months, two weeks, 18 hours and 43 seconds. Okay, guys, Lurk works. Followage, for some reason, doesn't. Maybe there's a timeout on it, but I don't know why. Let me have a look to see if there's a timeout on Followage. Like a, 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 whatever they call it. Nope. It should work. It's here. There is a followage command sitting here in the dashboard, and it's just not working. Sorry, guys. Follow it. Follow age. For low wage. <laughs> it is for low wage. I'm sorry. Follow it. Jikan. Jikan. Okay, which of these is time? Jikan. Good job. Okay, then select the correct character for Hataraki. Hataraki. I have no idea. Let's continue with the Japanese lesson, says Twins. Uh, I think there's a command for for uh, continuing with the uh, Japanese lesson. Hataraki. We still don't know what this means. Hataraki. Hataraki. Thanks, Pink Ranger. Top right. Hataraki for low age. <laughs> 31時間 hatarakimasu. What does that even mean? Now, 31時間. Hataraki-masu. Oh, okay. So, 31時間 is 31 oh, 31 jikan. 31 hours so jikan is time but it can also mean hours uh hatarakimasu hatarakimasu 31 jikan hatarakimasu i work for 31 hours how many hours do you work for i work for 31 hours 31 what 31 jikan I don't know how many hours I work for. I don't know. Too many. Now, remember, kanojo means she, right? Um, kare is he. Kanojo is she in Japanese. But Tanenobu-san was telling us, Tanenobu-san was telling us that kanojo, the word for she, also means girlfriend. And I'm wondering how we're gonna, how awkward this is gonna become. Uh, kanojo wa. Kimasu ka? Is she coming? Kanojo wa kimasu ka? Is she coming or will she come? Kimasu ka? So come is ki, ki, come. Kanojo wa kimasu ka? Kanojo wa kimasu ka? Kanojo wa kimasu ka? Okay. So I guess if it was a guy, you could say, Kare wa kimasu ka? Kare wa kimasu ka? He come. He will come. Oh, will he come? Because this is a question. By the way, with Japanese... Oh, Blackthorn says, wait! What are we waiting for, Blackthorn? What are we waiting for? Mm. Twins, we're not killing anybody. That's the other app. Um, we can't kill people in uh, in Duolingo, as far as I know. Ignore me? How can I ignore you? You're right here. I mean, like, do I need to get Nightbot on you again? Gavin says murder is illegal. Not for twins. Okay. Kanojo wa kimasu ka? Will she come? Anata wa kimasu ka? 
Hey guys, we are practicing Japanese with 12,670 learners right now. Um, I have to take credit for some of that. Blackthorn, have you been studying hard? Okay, huro. The first one here, we have huro, which means uh, bathtub. The second word here was that word that we just learned. What was it? Oh my god, I've forgotten already. What was that word that we just learned? How do we say it? Hataraki. Hataraki. Okay, we've got ki. Ki. Shi. Shi. Jikan. Jikan. Sounds like chicken. Jikan. Jikan. Uh, twin says he really wants to know if she will come. Yeah, I know. Hopefully she will. But that's the aim, right? Okay. Jikan. Jikan. Shi. Shi. Ki. Ki. What was that one again? Hataraki. Hataraki. Hataraki means... Um, wait, did we find out what hataraki means? Did we find out? Was that work? Oh, what's going on down here? <laughs> Where is it going? Uh, Pink Ranger says, don't feel bad. You've been slacking too. Yeah, you should feel guilty. Gavin says, you can never study too much. Um... But Blackthorn was super proud of himself. He was over at Kelsey's looking for something to match. And some show was listed and something mochi. And I was like, that means rice. <laughs> um, Twins hasn't opened the app yet. Hataraki was time. No, chikan was time, I think. Chikan was time. Huro. And hura means bathtub. So, so far, we've got time, we've got bathtub, and will she come? Kanojo wa itsu hatarakimasu Kanojo wa itsu. Itsu is one thing. Itsu. No, it's not one thing. Itsu is when. Okay, we have a new word, guys. When. When will she come? <laughs> this is... Okay, okay, okay. Um, kanojo wa itsu. Hatarakimasu. Oh, no, no, no. When will she work? Kanojo wa itsu hatarakimasu ka? When does she work? That's what it is. Kanojo wa itsu hatarakimasu ka? Kanojo wa itsu hataraki? Hatarakimasu. Hatarakimasu ka? Kanojo wa itsu hatarakimasu ka? When does she work? When do you work? Which is the correct character for ki? Okay, guys, take a bet. Which one of these words is come? Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Does anybody know? Gavin can tell me. Gavin, don't put your hand up just yet. If anybody knows the answer, please put your hand up in the chat. Oh, no, I just realized. Pink Ranger is the only person here with the emoji. <laughs> Pink Ranger, if you know the answer, put your hand up because you're the only one in this chat who can actually do that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Pink, what's the answer? Any idea? Pink, 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 what's the answer? Pink says top right. Home. Now, I have got zero wrong so far. If we get this wrong, it's Pink Ranger. Are you ready? No, Pink. <sighs> no, Pink. Um, hon. Um, the the word uh, Japan in Japanese is Nihon, and that's the second character of Japan. Um, they do look super similar, and that's the thing with um, kanji. A lot of them do look similar. It's very close, though. And yeah, they do kind of look the same. I get it. I get it. Okay, then, what have we got here? We have got ah. Do you remember that word for when we were killing that hooligan? Ah. We have got kataraki. Is that right? Kataraki. Hataraki. Hataraki. Not kataraki. Hataraki des. Go. Go. We have chikan. Jikan. Oh, jikan. Jikan. I, was, I said chikan because I remember it sounded like chicken. Jikan. Jikan. And what's that word? Ki. What does ki mean, Pink? Ki. 
What does that mean? It means come. Let me listen to that again. Kare-ra wa nanjikan hatarakimasu ka? Kare wa? Kare-ra wa nanjikan hatarakimasu ka? Kare wa? Kare wa? Kare-ra wa nanjikan hatarakimasu ka? I think kare wa, kare-ra is they, right? Kare-ra wa? They, okay. Kare, kare-ra wa? Nanjikan. Nanjikan. How many hours or what time? Now, you remember that we learned nani. Nani is like uh, uh, what, right? You, you've seen this. People write it in the chat. They just write nani, right? People write that. It means what? We just learned uh, jikan, right? Nanjikan. Nanjikan means what time or when. Nanjikan. Pink Ranger has had a few drinks. So have I. We're enjoying green tea ramune today. Nanjikan. So, I guess it could mean how many hours do they work. It might also mean like what time. Um, so I'm not sure yet. Uh, I think you're right. How many hours do they work. How many hours do they work? I remember, karera is a, like a male they. I think that for girls, would we say kanojo tachi? Kanojo tachi for girls. Thank you. That was Blackthorn. Blackthorn got it right. Blackthorn knows survival Japanese. 31 hours. Uh, I think that's 31 hours a week. Tananobu san. By the way, if anyone wants to learn uh, Japanese and English at the same time, uh, Tanenobu-san over there, um, he has a live stream that I'm subscribed to, that I like very much, where he just learns things in Japan. He's been learning English. Um, oh, that's the wrong. It should be a shout out, sorry. Tanenobu, oh, four, one, two. Tanenobu-san. Uh, has been the last scene uh, doing just chatting. No, Tananobu has been learning English, but he also does Duolingo live streams as well. Yeah, so if anybody would like to uh, follow somebody in Japan doing the opposite of what I'm doing, go follow uh, Tananobu. Okay, let's see. Was it 32 hours or 31 hours? Dare ga kimasu ka? Oh, what was that? Dare ga kimasu ka? Dare means who, right? Dare ga kimasu ka? Dare ga kimasu ka? Who's coming? Maybe? Dare? Dare? Where's dare? Oh, dare? Dare. Ga? Ga. Ki. Ki. Masu ka? That could be who will come or who's coming. Dare ga kimasu ka? I think. Who's going to come? Dare ga kimasu ka? Dare ga kimasu ka? Dare ga kimasu ka? Oh, maybe me. You're not going to do a drunk stream? Do it, Pink. And uh, who's coming? And Blackthorn says, and are they in a bathtub? Maybe. Kanojo wa itsu kimasu ka? Kanojo is a lady. Uh, kanojo wa itsu kimasu ka? Itsu kimasu ka? Kanojo wa itsu kimasu ka? What was itsu? Do you remember that? Itsu. Is that when? When? Will she come? <laughs> you can just make all the jokes over in the comments. I'm not even going to bother. Kare wa itsu kimasu ka? Okay? Kare wa itsu kimasu ka? Okay, what's going on? When's I Love Lucy cosplay happening, Pink? Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Kare wa? Kare wa itsu kimasu ka? First. Right? He's he's coming first. No, no. Kare wa itsu. Kare wa itsu kimasu ka? Maybe never. When will he come? Kare wa itsu kimasu ka? When will he come? Asa gohan no jikan desu yo. Now, uh, Blackthorn was talking about mochis before. In general, 
Oh, Blackthorn doesn't like the purple-haired girl on Duolingo. She's so difficult to impress. Um, if you learn English using Duolingo, the characters all have their own voices. So, like, if you're learning Japanese, there's only... I think there's only two voices. But if you're learning English, every character has their own voice. And the purple-haired girl is just like, uh, when will she come? She's got this really kind of like monotonal voice. And it's quite funny. Yeah, so Blackthorn was talking about rice. This word here, gohan, gohan. Gohan actually means rice in Japanese as well. So asa is breakfast. So asa is morning. Asa gohan. Morning rice means breakfast. And then they have ohiro, hiru, ohiro. Oh, what was lunch? Um, ohiro, ohiru, or ohiro. Quick search. I don't want to get this wrong. Okay. Lunch, which I just wrote wrong. This one. Oh, that's weird. Why is it coming out differently? I'm getting jushoku. Jushoku. That's a different phrase. Um, let me just check here. Daytime. How do we say daytime in Japanese? Hiru. So it was um, ohiru gohan, like Daytime meal is lunch. And then it's like morning, afternoon, and then evening was bang gohan, like evening meal. So that's kind of easy. Like in English, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, three different words. But in Japanese, it's like morning rice, daytime rice, evening rice. So this one is morning rice. Asa gohan. Asa gohan. Morning rice, morning real. Asa gohan no jikan desu yo. Uh, I think this is breakfast time, maybe. It is breakfast time. Asa gohan no jikan desu yo. Asa gohan no jikan desu yo. I think. I think. Yeah, mochi is like, like a dessert thing. It's like a sticky rice uh, ball, uh, a glutinous rice ball, and they're quite nice. Um, supposedly, eating mochis is a leading cause of death in Japan because people eat these big mochis and they get stuck in their throats and they die horrible deaths. Asagohan no jikan desu yo. Asagohan no jikan desu yo. Uh, it's breakfast time. No, it is ohiru gohan. Ohiru gohan no jikan desu yo. It is lunchtime right now. Uh, Blackthorn Gaming says, all Dragon Ball characters are named after food, like Goku, Gohan. Oh, no way. Mochi kills many elderly people in Japan, says Tanenobu-san. Yeah, uh, this is something I actually heard. This is a major cause of death. Because if you don't know, Japanese people don't die of natural causes. They just keep getting older and older and older until one day a mochi gets them. It's true. 時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。時間があります。
Oh my God, everybody's here. This is crazy. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Uh, it's good to see you, Mike. What time is it where you are? It's definitely bedtime. Okay. Finally, what is the correct character for key? Key is come. C-O-M-E. Pink Ranger, are you still here? And do you know what the correct character for come is? Pink says, top right. Now, <laughs> a word of warning. <laughs> that looks very... Do you want to, add, do you want to like, confer with other people first and see if everybody agrees that come is top right? Uh, Blackthorn says, bottom left. Pink isn't guessing. Rosen says, it looks like you're very far in Duolingo. You haven't used it for months. Rosen, back to work. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. How come twins can put her hands up? I thought that, that was a... How come twins is allowed to put her hand up? I thought that you were banned from using Anthony emojis. No way. Okay, then, okay, okay, okay. Wait, is that pink or twins? That's twins. What's going on? Oh, you use channel points. I forgot to, to block you from using channel points, twins. Okay, twins, you've got your hand up. Twins can answer the question, which one here means come? Come on, twins. Which one is it? Oh, wow. And Pink has uh, redeemed everyone hydrate, including me. Hydrate, everybody. Mike, you, you've just woken up. Make sure to drink something, okay? Uh, twins, which one was it? Come on, twins. You need to choose. Is it top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left? Flanches. You got this. Don't worry. <laughs> twins is now blocked from channel points. Twins says bottom left. Are you ready? Thank you so much, Flanches. You got it right. Finally, you made up for Pink Ranger's terrible, terrible error. And we're doing really well. Thank you so much. Shall we keep going? Oh, my God. We've been playing Duolingo for 122 days now. This is ridiculous. Okay. Let us keep going, shall we? Shall we go to the restaurant? Because that's a good place to go. Okay. We're going to go and have a look. Collective intelligence. Yeah, we haven't got that. But Abana, how are you doing? Bottom left. <laughs> Pink Ranger said it was top right. Okay. Now, does anybody know the correct character for shokudo? Uh, shokudo? Shokudo? Now, I will tell you first. Shokudo is canteen. Now, the first characters are all the same here. So, this is... The first character means food. But which one of these is the place where you might eat? A canteen or a cafeteria? Does anybody know? Pikachu plays 122 games straight. Of playing a game is a long time. You are saying this to a group of people who play Pokemon Go, Mikachu. 122 days straight is nothing. Uh, let's keep going. Guys, does anybody know? Rusty Rosen, any idea? Uh, Buddha Banner says bottom right. Uh, Pikachu plays Roblox says top right. Anybody else? How are we doing? Anybody? Uh, does anyone want to put their hand up? Because I can put mine up. Twins can put their hand up as well. Okay. Oh my goodness. Pink Ranger has uh, redeemed a black and white Antony. Pink, you get to choose with your black and white Antony. Thank you so much for following, Buddha Banner. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. And because Buddha Banner has now followed me, I'm going to ask Buddha Banner, which one of these means canteen? Top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left. Come on, Buddha Banner. You've got it. If Pink Ranger says top right, does that mean that Buddha Banner says top right as well? Bottom right, says Buddha Banner. Are you ready? Shokuyoku. Wait, that doesn't sound like shokudo. Shokudo. Pink Ranger's got it over there. 
that keeping range and pitching base or blocks you are too slow. Shokudo means cafeteria or canteen. Is anyone eating gade shokudo today? I might be. This was hiru. 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 Now remember, hiru means daytime. So hiru gohan would be lunch. Or hiru gohan is your daytime meal. Uh, I had, for my daytime meal today, we had, uh, what did we have? Dim sum. I had dim sum with impossible beef inside. So like vegetarian beef dim sum. The next word is hyaku, which is a hundred. Hyaku. Then we have shokudo, which means, what was shokudo? Can anybody remember? <laughs> Pikachu plays Roblox has got the hand up as well. I've got to increase the price on redeeming emoji. Rosen says, thank God I still remember most of the kanji. Which just goes to show that you don't actually need to study. You'll remember it. Okay then, shokudo was canteen. Shokudo. Now this word here, this next one, if you go to Japan, you will see this all the time. This word is en. En. And you might not know what en means from hearing that. But if I say yen, like 10,000 yen, that's this word, en. So you will often see that little character there, like on prices for things. And the next one is sen. Sen. Which means thousand. So sen en. Thousand yen. Got it? Mazui What does that mean? Mazui desu. Mazui desu means what? Mazui desu. Oishi desu. Mazui desu. It tastes bad. Mazui desu ka? Yep, oishi desu. It's delicious. This is one of the most surprising ramen airs that I've tried over the last few weeks because I was convinced that this one would be disgusting. And it's not. It's really good. Guitar card is like, hold on, hold on, what's going on down here? And that's the thing. We just learned, but I forgot. Canteen, that's right. <laughs> because you've got to do it. Okay, then Pink Ranger is going to get everybody notebooks and pens so you can take notes. Uh, Black Blackthorn wants to know what is jangling around in that bottle. Hold on, can we focus here? Let's do the makeup thing. Focus, camera, focus. There's a little ball in here. Can you see it? Can I actually focus on that? Come on, camera, you can do it. There's a little glass ball inside this. There's a marble inside here, and it is definitely a hazard. Like, I don't think that they could make this in the States because it has a choking hazard inside. But yeah, it's really nice. Uh, this is like a marble soda. It's called Ramune. You can see the, the, the characters down the side there. Ramune. And Ramune. Oh, there you go. You can see the ball a little bit better now. Um, Ramune is a Japanese kind of lemonade. Um, but just like, like lemonade that you might buy in the shops, it doesn't have that much flavor to it. But there's a whole bunch of like different flavors of Ramune. And we've been drinking different ramenet every week for the last few weeks. Um, the worst one that I tried was orange ramenet. Like, it was bad. It was actually bad. Um, we had lemon ramenet, melon ramenet. My favorite one so far has been strawberry. That one was actually nice. It was good. Um, but yeah, we've been trying different flavors every week. And I haven't decided quite yet where green tea ramune is going to go on my rankings, but it's uh, quite good. Yeah, I think ramune is just, I think it comes from the word lemonade. I think. Do they make energy ramune? I'm going to have to look for it. I'm running out of flavors. Like, I've been going to different Japanese shops and I've managed to get myself like 10 different flavors from different manufacturers. Um, but this might be my last ramen air for a while. I'm going to have to make like an Amazon ramen air wish list or something because uh, unfortunately I'm scared that I'm going to run out and then ramen air rankings will no longer be a fixture of my Japanese language learning live stream and I'll cry. But this one's not bad.
It tastes bad. Mazui desu. It tastes bad. Which desk is it? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. How do you say which? Which? Ikutsu? Ikutsu? Ikura? Ikutsu? Is that right? Dono, dore, dochira. I, I didn't even know that. Um, oh, ikutsu is how many? Uh, maybe, maybe. Dono. Which desk is it? Desk is tsukue. Dono tsukue desu ka? I have no idea. Let's try this. Which desk is it? Dono tsukue desu ka? Okay, let's try this. Do no tsukue. Dono tsukue desu ka? Dono tsukue desu ka? You ready? Is it right? Dadang. Diding? Huh. I didn't expect that to get that right at all. So, dono means which, which one, uh, which I, I had forgotten. Desk is tsukue. Now, if it's a table, they would just say table, table, table. But tsukue is like a, a, a desk for books and that. Uh, deska means like, is it? Which desk is it? Shokudo, we know that word. Shokudo, does anyone remember? Shokudo. That first word over there, shokudo. Who knows it? Who knows it? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? I'm missing the chat here. Uh, it's dangerous. It's the marble. I want the bottle. It's so cool. I've got like 10 bottles of these in my kitchen right now, like 10 empty bottles. Uh, we have a very select few flavors in the States, sadly, uh, but they do sell it. Yeah, um, like you'll probably find these in like some Asian stores. When I lived in the UK, we used to drink it in Japanese restaurants that they would actually have ramen air like on the menu in the restaurant. I wonder if you are going to like if you could order takeaway or something, whether or not you could get ramen air with your Japanese takeaway. Maybe. Uh, Guitar God says, yep, they do sell it. I finally found the right you on Duolingo and follow. Wait, were you following the wrong me? The right me is here. Anthony Kell. Uh, A-N-T-H-O-N-Y-K-E-L. There wasn't enough space for a Kelly. Um, so now I can see how much you've been slacking. I'll check in just a second. Shokudo. Does anyone remember? I think Shokudo was... Shokudo. Okay, dining room, dining hall, cafeteria. Okay, De is one of those prepositions that I don't know how to use yet. Now remember, ohiru. Ohiru, ohiru gohan. Ohiru means daytime, and gohan, the Dragon Ball Z viewers among you, remember that gohan means rice. So, ohiru gohan. Daytime rice, lunch. Shokudo de ohiru gohan wo tabemasu. O tabemasu. Tabemasu to eat. So, I will eat or I eat uh, at the cafeteria. No! I eat lunch at the cafeteria. I even said lunch when I was explaining it, I just didn't type it. streak ruined. Okay, this tea. Okay, this tea should be kono. Kono means this. Um, if you talk about uh, kore, uh, koko, uh, kono, something like here. Uh, kono ocha, this tea. Kono ocha. Ocha. Kono ocha. Do we need wa? Wait, what was taste bad? I've forgotten that completely. Uh, Rosen says, Kono ocha wa mazui desu. Hey, arigato gozaimasu, Rosen san. Kono ocha wa mazui desu. Kono ocha wa mazui desu. Mazui desu. Okay. Kono ocha wa mazui desu. If this is wrong, it's Rosen's, Rosen's fault. 
<laughs> if it's right, then it's all me. Hooray! I did great. Kono ocha wa mazui desu. This tea tastes bad. Everybody knows uh, delicious is oishi. So you could say kono ocha wa oishi desu. This tea is delicious. Oishi. Kono ocha wa oishi desu. Kono, I don't know, kono anything wa oishi desu. You could say like kono chocolate wa oishi desu. Kono gohan, rice. This rice is delicious. Kono o hiru gohan wa oishi desu. This lunch is delicious. Kono steaki wa oishi desu ne. Eh? Did you hear that? Kono steaki. Does anybody know what steaki is? Now remember, kono, this. Sudeki wa oishi desu. This something is delicious. Does anybody know? Sudeki. Sudeki. What do you think? Oh, you can see it down there on the screen. Don't read it. Don't read the bottom. <laughs> it's down there on the options. This steak is delicious. Kono sudeki wa oishi desu. Sudeki. It's like not that difficult, right, to learn Japanese. When we've got words like sudeki for steak and keiki for cake, uh, it's not that hard. How much is that table? And we have words like teburu for table. But they said that table. Ano teburu. Teburu. I think that's right. Ano teburu. How much? Wa or ga? Wa, maybe? Ikura? Desu ka? I'm not sure whether I'm using the right preposition here. I don't know if it should be ano teiboru wa or ano teiboru ga. I don't know which one it should be. Does anyone know down there? Pink Ranger is following me on Duolingo now too. Thank you so much for following me. How much is the table in the window? We already did the... Uh, doggy joke last week. Okay, I might be using the wrong preposition. If something's wrong, I think it's here. That wa maybe is ka. It wasn't wrong. Ano teiburu wa ikura desu ka? Ikura, how much? Ano doggy in the window wa ikura desu ka? How much is that doggy in the window? That was what we just said. It's just the same sentence repeated back to us. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Um, but this is after like 100 days of doing Duolingo. This is a cafeteria. Your hard work is paying off. 100 days of hard work. They said that again. Listen carefully. And if you want to listen slowly, we could use turtle speak. What was that again? Is that preposition that I don't know? Shokudo, shokudo. Where is shokudo? Shokudo de. de. Shokudo de asagohan wo tabemas. Asagohan. Gohan wo o tabe. tabe mas. Mas. Now, shokudo is cafeteria. De is a preposition that I think is being used for the place. I don't know the difference between saying shokudo ni and shokudo de yet. But shokudo de asagohan. Asa means morning. Asa gohan, morning meal, so breakfast. Shokudo de asa gohan o tabemas. Tabemas means to eat. So the order is canteen in, breakfast, eat, have breakfast in the canteen. Okay then. Shokudo de asa gohan o tabemas. We're doing well. Gohan is morning rice. Uh huh. Asa Gohan is morning rice, Blackthorn. It really is. Uh, Blackthorn is doing so well here. Come on, Blackthorn. You're doing great. Get back into that Duolingo. You're doing so well. Kono ocha wa mazui desu. This is what Rosen just said before. Kono means this. Kono ocha. Cha is tea. Kono ocha wa mazui desu. Okay? If you want to learn one word today, mazui desu. Tastes bad. Mazuidas. Just say that. Like go to Japanese restaurants and just say Mazuidas, Mazuidas, Mazuidas. This team is delicious. Blackthorn, stop eating the team. Kono ocha wa mazui desu. Kono ocha wa mazui desu. This tea is Mazuidas. So this tea tastes bad. Do not mix up delicious and taste bad when you uh, use this in the restaurant. Um, <laughs> when will they, Blackthorn? When will they? Okay, we're doing well. Steaky wa tabemasen. You remember what steaky was? Steaky wa tabemasen. Steaky wa tabemasen. Steaky wa steaky wa tabemasen. Steaky wa tabemasen. Do you remember what sudeiki is? Sudeiki. Sudeiki. Does anyone in the chat know about sudeiki? I know. Hand up, Anthony. Sudeiki. Steel. Steel, Blackthorn? Sudeiki is steak. Sudeiki wa tabemasen. I don't eat steak. This is me. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I do not eat steak. Okay, this is something that you might ask if you're being rude to people who don't speak a language. Speak English, please. I think it just means like English, please. English, please. No, seriously, Pink, it sounds like steak. Sudeki is steak. They have literally taken the word steak, and because they're using Japanese characters to say it, the closest pronunciation is suteki, steak. So, like a lot of Japanese words, like sudeki, keiki, um, and things like that, are foreign words largely English, but they could be from other countries as well, that they've like translated into they've translated the sound into Japanese. Eigo de onegaishimasu. I think that means English please. Is that right? Eigo de onegaishimasu. Nihongo de onegaishimasu. Speak Japanese please. Okay? We don't say that to strangers. Ano tsukue wa ikura desu ka? 
ano means over there. Tsukue was desk. We learned that one earlier. Ano tsukue wa ikura desu ka? How much is that desk? Not in the window. How much is that desk? Desk, desk. Where's desk? How much is that desk? Okay, practice always pays off, Rosen. Practice pays off, Rosen. Dono tsukue desu ka? Dono. Dono means which, right? Dono tsukue desu ka? Like, which desk is it? Maybe? Which desk is it? Dono tsukue desu ka? Which desk is it? Ano tsukue desu. Okay, let's make this harder. This steak is delicious, isn't it? This steak. Kono, 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 kono. This. Steaki, steaki. Is that right? Kono steaki wa. Delicious. Oishi. How do we write oishi in Japanese? Oishi? That doesn't look right. Oishi, maybe? Kono steaki wa oishi desu yo ne. I think that's right. Kono steaki wa oishi desu yo ne. Yay! We're doing well. Shokudo de o hiru gohan wo tabemasu. Shokudo. Does anyone remember shokudo? What is shokudo? Shokudo de o hiru gohan wo tabemasu. Shokudo. I'm not going to finish this live stream until someone tells me what shokudo is in Japanese. Does anybody know? Shokudo. Shokudo. Rosen-san. Shokudo wa nan desu ka? Shokudo. Does anybody know? Oh, Blackthorn's got his hand up. Yes, Blackthorn Games. What is shokudo? Cafeteria. Okay, okay, okay. Shokudo de o hiru gohan wo tabemasu. I eat at... The cafeteria. Shokudo de ohiru gohan. Ohiru daytime. Ohiru, ohiru daytime. Gohan. Rice. I eat. Ah, oh, I eat lunch at the cafeteria. I nearly forgot lunch again. At the cafeteria. Don't forget lunch, guys. We're doing well. We haven't quite met our XP goals just yet. I am going to have to run out soon. I have an I have a lesson <laughs> to get to, a, a real-world lesson to get to at 4 p.m., and it is 3.30 here in Hong Kong. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Is anybody live-streaming right now? Um, because I'm going to perhaps raid somebody soon. Um, while I'm looking for somebody to raid, um, please remember that uh, a little bit of a public service announcement, and I'm pretty sure that everybody here knows this, uh, but if any of you have Amazon Prime, um, you're also going to get Prime Gaming, uh, which is like uh, like the paid version of Twitch. And if you have Prime Gaming, you're going to get a free subscription every single month. This month, I've been giving my subscription to, let me just find him, uh, because I've got like Amazon Prime Video at home, um, and I've been giving my Prime subscription to Liam. Liam is also streaming Learning Japanese, but he's streaming it from the UK. And he is way, way, way more hardworking than me. Unlike me, Liam has notes. He has, like, spreadsheets. He has got so many things that he's doing. But he has a good time while learning to uh, speak Japanese, too. And he has been learning harder than me and he's been learning for longer than me so if you really 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 want to uh learn some good japanese you could go and follow liam over there and if any of you are having problems like connecting your uh amazon prime account to your twitch prime gaming account just jump over there. That's where you can do it. I'm sure there's a lot of people who would really, really appreciate having a subscription. But let's see. Is anybody here streaming right now? A lot of these people have got a lot of people watching them already. Carrie Witter is streaming an Englishman in Los Santos. Huh. 
but with uh, like a whole bunch of people over there. Um, there's a Japanese teacher who is streaming a Sakura trip in Osaka. Uh, Tracy is a Chinese lady in Japan who is streaming eating and drinking. And Pulse is a Japanese live streamer who talks a lot of English on his streams. And uh, he is streaming just chatting. I don't know if he's making food, but we could go in and say hello to Pulse. Uh, Pulse JP over there, if anyone wants to go over there and say hello. What do you think, guys? We can go and raid Pulse. I think nobody that we know is streaming online right now. Uh, but we could go and say hello and see what he is cooking. It looks like he's cooking something. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I'm super, super happy to see you all today. And I'm going to try and figure out how we can raid Pulse. Okay, then. Um, if you want to jump out now, that is absolutely fine. But if you want to jump in here and see what Pulse is cooking over in Japan, then uh, you can join me over there and say hi as well. But have a great day, everybody. And we can jump in and just say hi to Pulse in Japan. I think that he grew up in the States. His English is great. So uh, we can just go and say hi over there. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you next time. Over the coming week, I will try to do some Pokemon Go streams outside. But those are going to be kind of irregular. But my regular Japanese language learning live stream will be at about this time next week. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Let's start this raid and see how it goes. Nine viewers are ready to raid. We've got a whole bunch of people ready to raid in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, go say hello to Pulse. Okay, maybe it's maybe it it's like a light there's nothing. There's like no logo on it actually. Yeah, I think you. you I think you got scammed.